so please ignore this whole thing that's going on um it just happened basically it's nine o'clock at night and i just came up with a video idea and i just really want to get it done so i'm gonna pop out to the shops now and buy a ton of food and tomorrow i want to eat everything in alphabetical order a through z and i've got to eat one of every food for every letter of the alphabet and it has to be in order i can't mix i can't go in random order it has to be a through to z so let's go shopping e got it i can't find anything like nothing Gingerbread men. I'll take a pack. I actually think that went pretty well. I'm pretty certain I've got something for every letter of the alphabet, but I really struggled with I, U, X, Z, and k and f there were a few where i just could not think of what to get so i was walking up and down aisles just looking at letters of everything anyway it was harder than i thought but i've got something for every single letter let me know in the comments what you would get for the letter i u x z and the other one i said because i would be so interested to know i kind of struggled we're gonna go home now and then first thing tomorrow morning i'm starting my day off with an apple but who knows where we'll go from there good morning so i think i chose the wrong day to do this on because today is actually going to be quite busy woken up late great as per usual i just can't get myself out of bed in the mornings um i'm gonna film a video with nick and then the second that we finish filming i need to rush off to london for a meeting so i'm gonna have to try and fit this in around my day and i don't fully know how that's gonna work yeah i'm actually pretty excited for breakfast i've thought this through and for breakfast i'm gonna have an apple then i'm gonna follow it up with a bagel with butter and then I'm gonna finish it off with a coffee. A, B, C, done. I'm really happy with that. <laughs> Jazz apples are the best. And I'm not biased because my name is Jasmine. They're just the best. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What do you have on this big? Bagel. Bagel. And butter. Have brown bread. Can make it healthy. I don't want brown bread. <laughs> <laughs> On my bagel. On to letter C and my favourite part of the morning. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a little coffee. I don't know whether this counts, but I mean, I've come up with this challenge myself, so I'm gonna say drinks count. I'm gonna make myself a coffee. I forgot to put sugar in it. Good. Oh. Mixy, 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 mixy. C is for coffee. Okay, we have finished filming. I finished my coffee, done A, B, C. It's time for the letter D. And for the letter D, I got myself some Doritos. Oh my goodness. I love cool original. Mm-hmm. Okay, Google, what time is it? 2.26. It's currently 2.26. My meeting is at four. I really should be way into lunch by now, like halfway through the alphabet. I'm on D. It's not looking good. <laughs> the only thing I could come up with for the letter E was egg. <laughs> I like eggs, but it's very random to just eat an egg like this. Doesn't really go well with Doritos. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I still have Dorito flavor in my mouth. made it to London. I'm in a big rush. I'm getting some strange looks because I'm holding this camera, but oh my gosh, I've been to St. Pancras. Gee, for gingerbread. 
I am getting the weirdest looks right now and I don't blame anyone. <laughs> I'm 15 minutes late, but I'm here. So I have arrived at the YouTube space in London for my meeting. I will swing the camera around and show you. And yeah, I ate a gingerbread man in front of everybody and it was freaking embarrassing, but it's done. So I'm ready for my meeting now. I've made it to my meeting. I was a little bit late, <laughs> just a teeny bit, but I'm here now and we've just come out to look over London. And how beautiful is this? Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have a look. I've got a drink of water and we're going to sit and have our meeting and I'll catch up with you afterwards. On my way home, <laughs> it's time for letter H. This is the weird one that I had to cook before I left the house. I have, ladies and gentlemen, a <laughs> hash brown. It's good though. It's cold. It's good though. We'll eat it. Um, so I am now heading back to the underground on my way home, getting some more interesting looks. Eating a hash brown, why not? I don't know if you could tell, but it is a rush hour in London. Um, people everywhere. I've moved on to eye. It's an isotonic gel. I don't even know what I was expecting from this. Um, it's not the nicest thing I've ever tried. When I filmed the previous clip, I was sat on the underground waiting for the train and there was a group of people stood next to me watching me film that and I wasn't expecting it to taste the way it did so I pulled that really really weird face in front of all those people and I was so embarrassed when I put the camera down but uh yeah interesting this is my letter I I have not had enough food today um I went to the train station and I was trying to find some jelly normally um shops have like meal deals and stuff and they normally have little pots of jelly I swear they do I swear I've seen jelly couldn't find any jelly, couldn't find any jam sandwiches, and in the shop that I went to, they didn't have any jelly tots, which was the final thing that I was hoping that they might have for the letter J. None of it. So, I picked up, and this is kind of similar to the coffee, slightly cheating, I got some juice. Um, this is watermelon and star fruit, pressed fruit juice. Um, but then I also picked up, ta-da, some kiwi. J is for juice. Mm-hmm. Done. K is for kiwi. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna give this to Nick to eat because I'm not allowed any of that. Okay, I have made it home. I'm so excited to eat food. I'm just gonna go through these letters so fast now because I'm just hungry. So, L is um, actually a lemon. <laughs> L is for lemon. Okay, L is for lemon. Oh! <coughs> oh! Wow! <sighs> I'm good. <laughs> L is done. Hey, look, there's a lemon. L is done. So we're gonna move on to M for Maltesers. See if we can do a little trick. Malteser, I think I just got food all over you. And N, ladies and gentlemen, is for knickknacks. I have not had these in so long. I'm so excited. <gasps> Oh, that's so good. If you've ever had knickknacks, do you prefer ribbon spicy or the other flavors? <laughs> I could have got oranges or Oreos, but they didn't come to my brain when I was shopping. So I went ahead and got myself something I hate. It's like one of the only foods I don't like. Olives. Why have I done this to myself? I, I really want to get the, I want to get the face. Oh, <laughs> you don't like him? <laughs> Just do it, and you're not allowed to spit it out either. Are you going I'm to only it? doing one. Well, that's not much of a meal. <laughs> oh, I really don't like them. <laughs> I really, really don't like them. On three, yeah. Oh, gotta chew it. Oh, <laughs> it's in. <laughs> no. 
they are disgusting. <laughs> right, well, you can finish those yeah, off. Yeah, I don't like them. I don't, yes, you do. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with those. The next food that I've got is the letter P. Sophie Foster would like you to say pickle in your strongest Scouse accent. Strongest? Just yeah. Pickle. <laughs> pickle. 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 <laughs> Pickle, <laughs> so there you go, Sophie. I went to the shop and they had pickled onions or pickled cucumbers or pickled eggs or pickled something else or mixed pickle. But I really, really thought that these were pickles. So I've got pickled cucumbers either way. But is this not a pickle? Please let me know what a pickle is <laughs> because I thought this was a pickle. Ooh. These are not as crunchy as I would like them to be. Mm. That's better. It is officially dinner time and I'm pretty happy with my meal for dinner because I've actually found three ingredients that kind of go together for dinner. I'm not getting enough vegetables, but I'm getting enough of a dinner, which I'm happy with, but I do have to eat it in order, but they can all go on the same plate. So, Q for corn and then Q, P, Q, P. How does the alphabet go? <laughs> R for rice and S for spinach. So that's not too bad of a meal, if I do say so myself. Q, R, S, corn, rice, spinach. I've got to eat it in this order. I keep going to eat other parts of my meal. I keep forgetting I could only have the corn to start with. Onto the letter T, which kind of goes with my dinner. It's a uh, tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Just an extra little portion of veggies. I don't think this is a portion. And it's not a vegetable, is it? Is, mm. it, is it a salad? Mm. Is it a fruit? Mm. It's Got tomato or fruit? Fair enough. Apple, kiwi, tomato, spinach, a little bit of lemon. That's it. That is not five fruits and vegetables a day. Mm. And tea is for tomato. I'm just gonna, I should have got some baby tomatoes. Why have I got oh, myself yeah. a giant tomato? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> this is weird. Oh, it's cold in my teeth. That was a normal dinner. Yeah, but then to finish it with a tomato. <laughs> that's not normal, is it? What do you finish it off with? Uh, some kind of some kind of cake. No, with the letter T. Tiramisu. That's no. <laughs> <laughs> you could have had tiramisu. I did think some of kind tiramisu. Of, some kind of trifle, maybe? <laughs> it's low as a choice. <laughs> Why do you think the tomato weird? I found something for the letter U. U is for Unicorn sprinkles! I was going to do udon noodles and they had none in stock and I couldn't think of anything else so this popped out of nowhere Unicorn sprinkles <laughs> It's probably weird They're not bad 88 grams per 100. So this is 88% sugar. It's terrible for you. I wouldn't just eat it out of the pot. But I will say, the texture is brilliant. So maybe just try it once. <laughs> okay, so U is done. We have V, W, X. What? I do not know my alphabet if I start at a random point. I have to go through. <laughs> L, M, N, O, P, Q, U, R, S, T, U, V, V, W, X, Y, Z. We have five letters to go. I have something for each letter. It's interesting, but I'm gonna take a break um, because I've just eaten a little bit full, got some food in my belly now, um, and Love Island is on. And for V, we have vinegar. <laughs> and I'm just gonna have a little shot of it. I'm gonna water it down though, just a little bit because whew, it is quite strong and then I'm gonna shot it. We ready? <laughs> just pretend I'm down the clock. <laughs> We Doing like to drink with Jasmine. <laughs> Jasmine no. is our mate. Just pretend it's vodka. Just. Oh, here's your drink, Jasmine. Just <laughs> yeah, that's not great. I used to like tequila, though. Stop right, okay. stalling and drinking. I can't. I'm scared. Right. Let's just pretend. Barman's giving me a shot. Here it is. Hey. Clink. <laughs> it was bad, but not as bad as I thought. Oh, my throat hurts. On to W, which I've actually been waiting all day for. W is for waffles. <clears throat> Just waiting for my waffle to be cooked. Oh. Heiser! Mm. Really hot. 
Waffle. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Comment down below some foods that you know off the top of your head that begin with X. Off the top of your head without Googling it, X. Because I really, really struggled with this. And then I found this. X is for xylitol. Careful, you said it does. Why doesn't this one to open? Got a little wet finger. I'm just gonna dip it in. And this is my X. It's not that sweet. Really? It almost tasted like crushed ice. We have come to the final letter of the alphabet. This item, I have never eaten raw. I've only ever had cooked. So I'm just gonna take a bite out of this and just see how it goes. I don't even know what to expect taste-wise. But for Zed, we have zucchini, which is actually in the UK just called a courgette, but it's a zucchini somewhere in the world. I'm pretty sure it's America. It's a zucchini, so I'm gonna claim that this is my Zed for the day. I'm gonna take a chunk out of it and that'll be the end of this video. And I honestly don't know how this is gonna go. <laughs> I'm scared. Insane thing to be doing. It doesn't taste nice, but it doesn't taste horrible, but the texture is weird. It tastes kind of similar to raw broccoli, kind of, but with like a really weird texture. Interesting. Anyway, that's my letter Z. I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you did enjoy. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.